Okay, this is Ivan and I have these, this one and two more containers for sale. So I'm doing this video so you can see the quality, uh, the sizes and uh, the location of the container. So I'm going to do a little video here to show you these three containers for sale. This is one container. What you see here, it's 40 feet high cube, 40 feet high cube containers. These are one line containers. They have not been used for chemicals. As you can see, they are in pretty good shape. They are in very good shape. There are no dents. There are no, uh, there are a few minor scratches here. So this is one container, 2.9 meters by nine points uh yeah this is the height the height is uh almost three meters uh 9.6 9 feet and six inches these are uh high cube containers high cube containers this one is 40 feet the other one is 40 feet and there is 120 feet this these three containers was situated here and at this lot uh, the location is 1020 Rogers Avenue in Brooklyn. Uh, they're in very good shape. Now, let's talk about these containers. They have doors you can open. They're waterproof isolated. Once you close them, as you can see here, once you close them, I don't know if you can see in the dark. Once you close them, they're hermetically, almost hermetically isolated. No water. So they could be used for dry storage as this one. This one I'm personally using to store some items, uh, generators, computer stuff, batteries, uh, servers, uh, all kinds of all kinds of stuff. This one, as you can see, it's 40 feet. Now I will show you. Uh, uh, these are equipments that I have here stored. This is 40 feet container, dry container. There's no leaking. As you can see, they're in very, very good shape. That could be used for anything you like. I purchased these containers temporary to use them as a workshop and a storage space, but they could be used for building a garage, building a house, dry container, storage, whatever you come up with. They have these hooks here. You can hook stuff. You can put shelves. Uh, you can put big shelves. This is 320 square feet of space, usable space. The floor, the floor is the original wooden floor. They are very dry. Now it is uh, almost winter season, but they are anything that you put here, anything that you put here, uh, everything that you put here, it will be uh, dry. It will be dry. Now, I use them for uh, auto parts. This is bumpers and all kinds of stuff. As you can see, they stay here. They're super, super dry. All, all my auto parts here, as, as you can see, super dry. There's no water leakage. Container in perfect shape. No dents, no anything. Now, uh, they are situated in this lot here uh, and they are put on the ground. They have these hooks. You can drag them. You can put them on a flat bed with a 16-wheeler or a company can come and drag them for you. Now, this is one container. Now, I will show you the other container. This is the small one. This one is 20 feet and that's another one 40 feet the other one this one the 40 feet is just like this one 40 feet it's in very good shape no scratches no dents uh, hermetically isolated now what we use these containers here and why we are selling them now we use these containers here as a temporary workshop as you can see as you can see we are building 
out of this plywood we are building these foundations for building and that is the construction site this is part of the construction site and there's more construction site here that's the second construction site we are building a building here a massive building so we no longer need these containers here you, you can see all our materials now uh, let me show you the shop out of this container we use this container to isolate the plywood material because this plywood material we're going to use it over and over and over and that is our little shop here with the container working area for for our guys to build these uh, foundations where are the foundations now the materials was here once we build the foundation the foundations will go something like this as you can see these are the ready foundations they are stuck up here they are stuck up here so now these are the the foundations for the building we're gonna pour concrete in them so anyway let's go back to the container so this is as you can see the 40 feet container in perfect shape very well maintained container uh, it's locked it has special mechanisms you can lock them here uh, you can lock one door here you can lock this door or you can lock the other door uh, so this is the other uh, 40 feet container and this is the 20 feet container now as you can see this one is just half the size of 40 feet container is the same height it is uh, 9.6 feet this is called uh, 9.9 feet 9 feet and 6 inches almost 3 meters uh, in metrics and uh, yeah that's the green one is the 20 feet and this one is the 40 feet as you can see our workshop here is no longer needed and that's why we are selling these containers for the moment we purchase them just to do our job just uh, temporary to finish with these foundations as you can see the foundations are now ready the site is ready for uh, putting the foundations here is also a big part of the foundation some of, some of them are already here so now we are trying to get rid of the containers as soon as possible as soon as possible uh, here is the container from from side view on the top I cannot show you on the top but on the top they are also in very good shape no leaking no anything no scratches one way container uh, why is one way uh, what does it means one way one way container it means that they was used to transport cars vehicles goods from China or from Europe and they end up here in the United States of America so it is now cheaper for the company to use them if they don't have usage uh, they sell them and we are one of these companies that we are selling these three shipping containers in a good bargain yep if you are interested in these containers you can see if you are interested in these three containers three shipping containers located at 1020 Rogers Avenue where our construction site is uh, if you are interested in these containers please give me a call 646-737 5797 once again 646-737-5797 my name is Ivan I'm selling these three shipping containers this one is from uh, K-Line you see this is a big shipping company that is using these containers so we bought them we use them now we have to get rid of them please give me a call 646-737-5797 I will post the ads for selling of these containers anywhere in all bunch of multiple websites uh, probably Craigslist uh, Facebook marketplace I don't know how you're gonna find me but I'm doing this video for only for those people that are serious they want to purchase the containers they want to take them off my hands so uh, this is it yep I think I showed you everything the location is 1020 Rogers Avenue in Brooklyn as you can see this is how the lot looks from inside 
it's a fenced lot with a lot of construction going on. These are the containers. 140, 120, and one more 40. And the interior of the container and the interior of the container, very good for converting these containers to a garage. Also, you can cut the middle wall and you can, uh, you can do double. If you place these two containers next to each other, you can create garage without going through the hustle to do construction, building a garage. You just place these two containers next to each other and you're gonna have a huge garage of close to 700 square feet. High ceiling, uh, this is high ceiling. Uh, let me show you, let me put this like this so you can see how high this is it. Uh, why the high ceiling is important because some people buy these containers and they convert them into so-called so uh, home, home project, home. They make houses out of these containers. Now I will show you where I am in relationship to the, okay, this is my, this is my height, you see? There's plenty of, plenty of space. This is like, uh, almost like uh, higher than the standard New York City apartment, it's higher, okay? So you have a space for inside, for sheetrock, for drop down ceiling, whatever you decide, okay? It doesn't matter what you're gonna use the containers. I hope that a lot of people will have different ideas for the usage of these containers, yes? 646-737-5797, three shipping containers located at 1020 Rogers Avenue in Brooklyn in a, in a spot construction area. So these are for sale. Thank you.